in this video I'm going to explain the Zebra 2 compressor and let me just go ahead and add that to the effects grid down here and I'm using the initialize patch as always so let me demonstrate that without compression and now with compression okay so what I have set up to help demonstrate this is I've got a MIDI clip back here with just a 1 8 note in the grid and it's an A2 so if I just play that Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually increase the volume first. Alright, so let's look at the compressor. We've got attack, release, threshold. This comp is basically a mix control between a dry signal, uncompressed, and a wet signal. And then an input and an output. The input controls the input level going into the compressor and the output controls the output level going out of the compressor and then there is a meter display here that basically shows the amount of gain reduction occurring and then there are three modes that the compressor supports eco which is economy this is a mode that uses less CPU so if your CPU constrained you can enable this mode smooth this smooths out the compression and strong is a much stronger version of the compression. So let me go ahead and demonstrate each of these parameters and I'll start with just bringing attack and release down to their minimums, threshold all the way up and compress all the way up which will allow us to hear the fully compressed signal and then input output will leave at zero. So if I play a note here and right now I'll just hold a key down if I increase the output level, it does what we expect. Now in terms of compression, if you're familiar with compressors, one thing that's missing here is ratio. We don't have a ratio control. That's really more of a function of smooth and strong, and that will also affect the overall response rate of the compressor as well. But based on the amount of gain reduction, if we wanted to apply makeup gain, we would just boost the output level accordingly and depending on the input level if we wanted to bring the input level up we could now because threshold is at a maximum or in this case zero there is no compression occurring but if I bring threshold down to say halfway you can see that the gain reduction meter did light up briefly so let me bring it down further So it is compressing that signal because it's exceeding the threshold. So basically threshold determines when compression will take place. Once the signal goes above the threshold, then the compression will take place. Now, the release parameter determines how quickly the compressor will release or recover from compression and apply zero gain reduction. So if I... As I increase that release parameter, the compression is lasting longer. Alright, and if I increase attack, that determines how long it takes before the compressor will kick in. Let's try a different mode here, smooth. And strong. What we're trying to do with a compressor is just affect the overall dynamic envelope and to demonstrate that let me just play through this clip and what I'll try to do is give it more of an attack basically make it more percussive in nature
So let's compare compressed versus uncompressed. So this is the dry signal. It sounds like it has a harder hit to it with the compression, and that's kind of the key. Well, that's one of the applications of compression. There are others, but that's one. And one of the other applications of compression is to just bring the level up. And we're going to use the compressor when we get to the lost base. But for now, that's the basic idea with compression. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.